What's going on and welcome back to more FC25 Ultimate RTG content. And in this one today, we've got a huge grind getting back to Elite Division. So hopefully it's a possibility. And i got some massive packs, like at the start, the end, everywhere. It's going to be a big episode. Let's go. Stop right there. If you don't have time to play the game for hours upon hours like me for free, but you still want some of the best cards and coins, head over to MMOEXP.com and use the code Fuji at checkout to get 5% off your next order. Links in the description. Check them out. I'm not even joking. I've been working overtime getting all these objectives done so I can speed run season two. And we're looking fantastic, right? We're in a great position. I've got an 86 times two that I've claimed. The Centurion's 10 times 10 objective will be unlocked in today's video as well. And bonus challenges that EA are most likely going to be dropping at 6 p.m. So we're doing a lot. But let's go and open these first. Inform from what's this? I'll take it though. Senamid, Italian Senamid. Yeah, I might be going back to DeMarco today. To use his upgraded version instead of Theo Hernandez. And then if I get used to DeMarco, then we can part ways with Theo without any issue. That's a great pull for Tazy 85. That is a good, good pull from some 75 plus times two or whatever it was. I'm not looking for any more fodder. I got tons. Don't even know what to spend it on because there aren't any like good SBCs right now. But 86 times two, someone playable for my team, please. Come on. Striker, that's a good sign. English, Harry Kane. Christ almighty, that is bloody massive. The two walkouts coming up for sure. But Harry Kane and Barella. Oi. That's actually a good pull. Yeah, I've been getting a couple of Italians today already. Did I not say we were good on fodder? Well, I got a bit. And, well, I got a bit more. I decided to send some lower rated cards into Tovan. He's been sitting here for a few days now. And it's just an 86 rated player that I don't think I'm ever really going to use. He looks a bit average. Like 80 finishing? Like, why would they go and do that to him? Like, if they just brought that up to, like, 84, 85, it might have been a fairly decent card. But I'm not going to use him at all, to be honest. We're just going to wait for a big SBC. But I'm going to do my party bag. You know, just throw some other fodder towards this. I think it's worth it, personally. So let's go and get an actual good player. All right, here we go, boys. Road to knockouts, total rush. I did say, and I've asked politely, can I have Virgil van Dijk? But maybe. Oh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Promising. Left wing. That's not Martins, is it? That's not like one of the most common players that keeps popping up in these packs. Martins, Martin, Martin. She's 88 though. Think about Lang as a bloke. Well, that wasn't who I thought it was. But listen up. I've got a few things to explain, okay? So in the last episode, I asked you the question, what should I do with my tradable players? Should I sell them? Should I sit on the coins? Where do we stand? Well, I'm going to keep them for now. Uh, they will get sold at some point. Because I was thinking, like, if I'm having to get back to Elite Division, that grind from Division 1 to Elite is just real difficult. And I don't want to make it 10 times harder getting rid of Vinicius Jr. that is one of the best cards on the game. Theo Hernandez, the best left back. And with Schmeichel in goal, he does offer the chemistry and it would break my team. And I would probably have to start spending more to make it work. So I think at this moment in time, let's play it safe and just use a monster squad. And what we've been able to put together right here is actually insane. And Luka Modric, this is essentially like a Ballon d'Or team of the year throwback with him receiving the Centurions. And he looks insane. For the price as well, I got him for like 20k under the market value, open bids. For some reason, it went under the radar and I took it. And although like stat-wise, he's not super standout, I think that technical control, you know, what he's going to offer with the playmaking and he can go box to box on one of his roles. Do you know what I need to try though in this formation? Playmaker plus plus and see if it makes that much of a difference. But then it probably will just like pull my players out and I'll struggle to defend. But anyway... Luka Modric is in the team. We've got Turam as well for that four-day loan, so we can properly try him. And everything just slots into place, and it does look really nice on the eye. But this is where the grind starts. We've got to get back to Elite Div. I need to win, all right? So buckle up. We've got to go. We've got to find form right here, right now. Puteas, Hansen, Mbappe. I can't wait until after 6 p.m. when these cards expire. Good. Oh, that's a ball. Finish. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Yo, pa no, no, chill, chill. No, chill, calm down, Rafinha. Turam, that's yours. Raphael Varane. This is good performance right now. We're soaking up the pressure a little bit. Sissoko. All right, this is lovely. This is what we need. Good. Chip. Finny. Bru beautiful. Marcus 11, seriously. Back-to-back -back Ws, beautiful performance. He's got the Italian Tifo as well. Virgil, Mickey. Has he got the new left-back, right-back? Nah. 
He's got some beautiful dribbling, I tell you. Luca bloody bazooka. Let's go, Hamshik. I do prefer him on the right-hand side, though. I might just bring Luca on this. I rarely do that many Shrivellas. Should have switched them around, but it has worked. So, probably just best to leave it for now. Yes! Come on, come on. Please, Robbie. Oh, damn. I didn't know what you were doing there. Yes, Luca. Oh, I love that. Luca! Luca! Oh, that deserved a goal. I really did set that up properly. Penalty? Could have been a pen. He's just pushed Luca right in the back. That is super smooth from Luca Modric. So, oh my. Nah, his RB and light control, the very, the very first game, as soon as I passed to him, I was like, wow. Luca. Nice strength again. And then flick it on. Oh my god, Robbie Power Shot! Right, what's he got? Company Lazarazu. Oh, God. Oh, actually, the strikers are different. Nice dribbling. Give it straight back to him. Also. Ah, I didn't really want to bring him in. I want to give it Rafinha. Robbie. Insane. Nah, that's a joke, man. Robbie, you're such a battler. Through ball! Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm in. Go on, Keen. Robbie. Robbie. Just use it so much. I should be able to score that, yeah? Come on, man. Even on his right. Oof. <laughs> I did... Oh, no. No. Why did I give him the near post? Could have given away a pen as well with that tackle from Suzuko, but it didn't, like, register properly just as well. Oh, I mean, pass, pass. Yes, man. Back in it. Or we're well, not even back in it. Just commanding position now. 3-1. Laurent Blanc, Virgil, mic on. Mega size. Look at that pace as well with Nunez. Nah, so it's not like playing out as I really want right now. Oh my god. Through. Rafinha. Yeah, it was just focus a little bit more though with where these passes are going, where the, where the movement is. Big block, Varane. But if he's got Virgil, this is a goal. I've got to get him out quick. Like, how do you even stop Virgil? He's a goal. There you go. I don't know how to get the goalkeeper out faster in that situation. That's like too easy. That's a free goal. It's actually really annoying. That's a ball. How are we so open here? Nah, come on. We shouldn't really be open like that. Should be on. That's it, Robbie. Come on. No foul. Oh, yes, Robbie. Nice one, Laurent Blanc. He done well there. He t gave me a little tug. Hey, he's finding this uh, pass over to Nene. And I should have pressed him a little bit better. Ah, it's another one. Oh, nah, it's not on. That is, though. Get in there, Robbie. Vinny Jr. Come on, man. Cooked him. One side. Yes, quality. Oh, come on. Let's go. A little bit fortunate, but I've completely done the goalkeeper there. Oh, yes. It comes down to this, boys. Win this elite division and look at the side we're against. Hoyland, striker. Evo Hoyland. Weird, weird. No foul. Ref, why? Why, why, why? What was that for? That, that was nothing in it. Now nah, you've just made that up. Watch out. No! Nah. Yes, that's the first one. Come on, let's get a draw. No, I seem to find one goal from somewhere. Good. I might actually be in. Oh my god, I'm in! Robbie, 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 Robbie. Robbie Keane. Were we ever in doubt, though, in that situation? I don't think so. I was going to chip, though. I feel like he's got to pass through the midfield every time in this game. That's not a good look. Robbie Keane. Robbie. Poor Robbie! Yes, Robbie. Elite Div. Elite Div Robbie.
We are back to Elite Division, and I must say, Luka Modric is an absolute baller in the midfield. What he was able to offer, like, although in terms of goals to the game, it wasn't like anything crazy, but I'm not someone that's going to force those Trevellas a lot of the time, whereas if you are, you know, he's going to get more goals. But for myself, I'm just looking for someone that can dribble, pass, defend, and he was offering a lot. He was very, very fun to use. But we've got big packs, like I promise. Uh, I've completed this rush objective. I've basically nearly done that one. And we've got a big, big pack here. 87 plus times two. Do you think we're going to get anything? And then I'm very close to completing this. 1,975 SP remaining. For the first time in a very long time, I really believe that this one's going to give out right now. A 1 of 3, 84 plus. Patry. I mean, that would have been very good at the start of the game when she was 60, 70. These tend to give out. 75 plus times fives. I have seen some uh, good players come in from these. But regulars, French, League of Females, 81. Totty, 81, 82, 83. We're in order. But well, we're going to go backwards. 83 times two to stop. Come on. Come on, help me out. I'm grinding. I'm literally playing hours upon hours. I'm making up for all the people that have left the game. Hello? Do we get anything from this one? No, we don't. Striker. It's Karazi, Christ almighty. I've just packed him, man. 84. What the hell? I've literally... Oh, I'll take an 84. Fingers crossed. We're going to need all the luck that we can get right now from this 87 plus times two. Is it going to give out? Moment of truth. Well, it's definitely a walkout. Doesn't look like Virgil. Striker. Is that... Oh, it's Lewandowski. 88. I mean, it's not... It's not crazy, but this could still be Theo Hernandez. Pajor. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, hold on. Yeah, it is. Lewandowski and Pajor, the two Barcelona... Yeah. There you go. That's kind of cool to get those two together. Damn, that's like a... Well, it's not a perfect link pack, but it's basically like a perfect link. I'm going to be real with you right now. I am a bit scared to set on any of the cards just because of the impact it's going to have to the overall side. But I will get rid of them. But I don't want it to be a case of like selling Vinny, selling Theo Hernandez, buying players to try and replace them, and then just losing coins on those cards. It defeats the whole purpose of selling up. Like what I want to do is sell them and then use untradeables, as you know, and I explained in the last video. But just going over like uh, Turam... I haven't really used him that much as a right back, but just how he's played as a centre back, it is like a juiced up version of an Eda Mediteo that I really like on the game. So I would love to make this official, but the only way is doing the Icon SBC. And I'm thinking like, do I just send it with all my fodder? And maybe I'll get him or Rio Ferdinand or something. Like that's the whole idea, getting a really, really good player. But if I get an L, I'm just going to regret it instantly. But I do like Turam a lot. He has the Anticipate. I've used him for a ton of games now. He's just a bit of a beast. And I don't notice the lack of reactions or composure. He's just very quick to recover. He's a nice player. I like him as a center back. And then Luka Modric, again, it doesn't look like he's done an awful lot here. One goal, three, three assists in 10 games. But he's like the playmaker of the playmaker. He's the one to get things happening and start the attacks, avoid being tackled, and it opens up space for the other players. I really did enjoy uh, Luka Modric a lot. I mean, DeMarco, he deserves like an MVP shout out. So does Suzoko. These two cards specifically in the rush game mode are top tier. Like they will absolutely destroy everyone. Like you can make proper tackles. Whereas like if you go and use like, I don't know, like it, it makes it seem like very, very hard to put in regular challenges in the rush mode. But these two like uh, get away with it. They're just so, so nice. But like I say, yeah, these players will get sold. I'm probably going to get rid of them on Thursday uh, when the market's high and then we're going to rebuild. But I hope that we can just do it well, you know, otherwise... I'm scared, but it's the leap of faith and we must sell up. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thumbs up if you have, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.